Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying out another tea and this time it is for insomnia, which I have a huge problem with. So if you'd like to see me try out this tea, then please keep watching. But before I get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Today we will be trying out this tea. It's from Traditional Medicinals and it's called the Organic Nighty Night Extra with Valerian. Just a little bit about me, I have been suffering from insomnia since I was very, very young. I'd say as young as 10 years old. I've always had trouble getting to sleep. Um, as a kid, I drank a lot of Coca-Cola, so I think that might be what caused it from a young age. And then throughout my whole life, I just have suffered from it. Sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's better. I also, on occasion, take Adderall for ADHD, which is a medication um, to help me focus. I don't take it every day, I only take it on occasion, but um, one of the side effects of that medication is also insomnia. So I'm already prone to insomnia and then I also sometimes take a medication that makes it worse. So I am often up until um, sometime between midnight and 4 a.m. Um, and I used to wear a Fitbit and <laughs> my average sleep time per night was something like three hours or less. So it is something that is a really big deal in my life and I do pretty much anything I can to help stop the insomnia. It says, the, for the medicinal ingredients, it says each tea bag contains organic valerian root, um, organic passionflower herb, and organic lemon balm leaf. So I will look up the ingredients because I did that in my last video and it was very popular. Um, there's also adverse reactions. So this actually has a lot more um, directions than the last tea did. For adverse reactions, it says some people may experience drowsiness. That doesn't seem like an adverse reaction to me. But after that, it said um, don't drive a motor vehicle or don't operate heavy machinery after drinking um, the tea, which is great. I mean, I won't for sure. For non-medicinal ingredients, it also includes peppermint leaf, and caraway fruit and licorice root. Ugh, sometimes I don't like it when licorice is in tea, but I will definitely drink it. I don't hate it, I just don't love it. So I've looked up valerian root on WebMD and it says, valerian is most commonly used for sleep disorders, especially the inability to sleep, also known as insomnia. Valerian is used orally for anxiety and psychological stress, but there is limited research to support these uses. That's fine. Insomnia, even if it just does insomnia, that's good for me. How does it work? Valerian seems to act like a sedative on the brain and nervous system. This is actually so funny, but it actually has ADHD as one of the possible things that it works for. Um, but it does say there's insufficient evidence, but that's interesting then. It warns us not to use valerian with other kinds of sleeping pills um, or alcohol. So I will not be doing that. I don't take sleeping pills. I've been trying to avoid taking sleeping pills because I know it's something that once you start taking it, you end up having to take more and more throughout your life. So I've been putting it off as long as I possibly can. And in the meantime, I have been taking these to help me sleep. One thing is um, melatonin. This is the melatonin 10 milligrams. So I usually take this to help me get to sleep. I also have had the gummies in the past. Um, but I've noticed I need at least 10 milligrams for it to do anything at all, and even then, sometimes it doesn't work. The other thing I take is um, Benadryl, basically, the allergy pill. Um, these are just some, like, no-name brand um, Benadryl the allergy capsule caplets. And I'm going to be honest, sometimes I take one of each if it's a bad night. Um, and about 70% of the time, that will get me to go to sleep. The next ingredient is organic passion flower herb. Um, WebMD says passionflower is used for anxiety, including anxiety before surgery. Um, some people take passionflower for insomnia, stress, ADHD, pain, and many other conditions, but there's no good scientific research to support these uses. It says it's possibly effective for anxiety, and there's insufficient evidence for everything else. So that's kind of cool. So there's basically one for insomnia and one for anxiety. The last ingredient, or the last medicinal ingredient, is lemon balm leaf. And lemon balm is used for anxiety, stress, insomnia, indigestion, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and many other conditions. Lemon balm contains chemicals that seem to have a sedative, calming effect. It might reduce the growth of some viruses. 
It is possibly effective for Alzheimer's, anxiety, cold sores, insomnia, stress, but there's insufficient evidence for everything else. Under insomnia, it says taking lemon balm twice daily for 15 days improves sleep in some people with insomnia. Taking lemon balm in combination with other ingredients also seems to improve sleep quality in people with sleeping disorders. Okay, well that's, that's amazing. So actually after reading this, I am very excited for this tea. I had no idea that like there was so much research on these ingredients. I thought they were just, you know, random herbal remedies, but it makes it sound that there is actually like some evidence that these do work. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so excited for this tea. I am on Adderall today, so my insomnia is going to be very persistent tonight. So if it doesn't work tonight, I'm also going to try it again tomorrow when I'm not on Adderall so that I can see if it works on a regular night. So I'm just going to open it and take a look at the tea bags and see what they look like. Um, it opens like this, and all the tea bags are individually wrapped inside. The packaging is actually really nice on the inside, and it says exactly what it is. I guess um, in case you put all your tea bags in one container, you don't accidentally drink this. Um, so I think that's really great. It's got like a lot of little flowers around the outside too, so it's actually really pretty. Inside the tea bag looks like this, and it smells lemony actually. Like it smells herby, but um, like a little bit like mint and a little bit like lemon. So so now I am steeping the tea according to the directions. It says to put 240 milliliters of freshly boiled water over the tea bag. Um, then I need to cover the cup and steep for 10 to 15 minutes, which seems really long for steeping time. I wish I had read the directions first because then I would have steeped the tea a little bit earlier because I was already ready to go to bed by the time I steeped this tea. And then I did have to wait 15 minutes and actually had to wait like another five to 10 for it to cool down as well. All right, so I'm ready to taste the tea. And the tea is actually quite nice. It has a very non-offensive taste. It's a little bit minty, a little bit lemony, but it's not overwhelming. So I don't think anyone would be um, incredibly disgusted by the tea. I think it's something that I will continue to drink um, because it's very drinkable. It's just a really nice tea. It didn't blow me away. I'm sure you could put some honey or something in it. I did end up drinking the entire cup before going to bed. Hi there. So it is the next day and I have some bad news. It didn't really work. I noticed while I was drinking it that I was starting to feel drowsy like as I was maybe halfway through the cup. So it was almost like working immediately. Um, to make me feel drowsy, but the minute I like actually got in bed and tried to sleep, I had the worst nighttime anxiety, um, and it kept me up until about 2 in the morning. So in the end, it didn't really work, but I did say that I would try it again because I knew that my insomnia was going to be bad last night. So I am going to try it on a regular night, and I will keep drinking it just because it is a nice tea, um, and maybe I will try combining it with a melatonin as well, um, yeah. The other thing is, as I was going through the nighttime anxiety, um, I also had to pee because I had just drank this giant, like, thing of water. Well, I guess not giant, but I drank the tea. So that's also something to consider is that, you know, then I had to get out of bed and I had to pee. So, yeah. Oh, well. Um, I was really hopeful about this one. I'm actually really disappointed. I really thought this was going to work. Um, and it was like extra strength and everything so oh well <laughs> I guess there is no like magical cure for insomnia um, but if you have lots of tips for how to get over insomnia like I'd love to hear what what you do and what you try um, and check the description box and the comments to see if it works tonight oh well thank you for watching and please subscribe to see more videos and I will see you in the next one